Joining us now by phone, author Jim Pransky. Now, he was an ex-baseball coach at St. Bonaventure, and we're going to talk about his book, Josh and Josh, Small Towns and Big Leagues. And what makes this uh, so interesting is that uh, one of the Joshes played for the Red Wings, and he went on to play for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, we join uh, him by phone. Thank you so much for uh, talking with us this morning. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Yeah. Now, one of the books I we want to get, Josh Raby, I believe, he was uh, here a few years back, went on to the Minnesota Twins, uh, played ball there for about a year, year and a half. But I know you worked for uh, Quincy University. That's where the two Joshes came out of, right? Right. I, I worked in Quincy in the, uh, in the early 90s, right before I uh, started scouting. And I always uh, kept following the, the program some, and I'd go down there maybe once a year to, uh, to see the kids. And... Uh, when I saw uh, Josh Raby in his freshman year uh, take batting practice, I knew he was kind of special. So I, I kept my eyes on Josh for the for the next couple of years, and unfortunately didn't get a chance to draft him. But Minnesota did, and and uh, and the rest is history. Really, he uh, uh, he spent a lot of time in Rochester. By the by the way, I think he spent parts of uh, almost five seasons. I think Josh joked that uh, if he stayed one more year, he was going to try to run for mayor of Rochester <laughs> after. <laughs> After all the time that he spent, but uh, he loved it there, and uh, in fact, still has a, a lot of friends there. And and uh, I know he took his wife back uh, uh, in the last year just so she got a chance to see where he he spent so much of his baseball time. And and uh, I've been to Rochester too, and, and uh, love that area up there in the, in the Red Wings. And uh, uh, it's really it's really a great story. It's really a story about both Josh uh, Raby and Josh Kinney and two guys uh, from small towns and, and small colleges who by by all means uh, really never should have made it to the big lakes but, and they beat all the odds and and, uh, and and got there and uh, it's really a, it's really kind of an inspirational story uh, not one of the stories of uh, that you would read in a normal bookstore about superstars or super teams or uh, guy who had a great World Series or something like that. It's just really two genuine guys who just uh, worked hard and through the help of uh, a lot of people and, you know, and a lot of time in the minor leagues got a chance to get to the big leagues. Yeah, no, and Josh Raby had an exceptional career in the minor leagues, uh, as, as you know. We use the metaphor, you know, make it to the bigs for a reason because it's such a big deal and you don't have to go on and have a 10, 15 year career just making it there for one game. How many movies ha have we seen? What was it like for you to see these two guys come from such humble roots, go to a small college and both make it to the big leagues? Oh, it was it was really great. Even though I I, uh, I knew both players well, you know, I, I didn't draft them, but I followed their, their careers all the way through and and I was actually at a, uh, I was at a ball game, uh, professional league game, uh, Oh, in, in June uh, of the year that, that Josh went to the big leagues, and I think I was about his third phone call uh, that day when he, when he got the call to go to the big leagues. And, and that really made, even though I, I wasn't the scout, scout that drafted him, but we did have a good relationship, and I was just so happy yeah. and, and proud that, uh, that he called me and he was so excited and and at that time especially in, in the twins organization it was really hard to break through oh, yeah. uh, especially especially in the outfield they were they were so loaded with Tory Hunter and Shannon Stewart and Jason Kubel and the guys that that uh, had had Josh been with another organization he probably could have gotten to the big leagues even faster right. but uh, the, the twins were so loaded out there and uh, but he just kept uh, he kept biding his time, and a couple times there were injuries and there were call-ups, and he thought he was going to get the call, but he didn't get the call, and they went through that a couple times, yeah. and, and then finally, um, finally he got the call, and and it, it's kind of a kind of a funny funny story. He he got in his first role ever was as a uh, pinch runner for the DH in the eighth inning against uh, Tampa Bay, and he was actually on the field for about 45 <laughs> seconds the entire game. <laughs> And uh, he was he pinch ran the the first and the next batter uh, hit a fly ball out. Josh came off the field, and Ron Gardenhire uh, was kidding him about you know. Well, Josh, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. You know, really appreciated you coming by and and, and gave him one of those. And and uh, yeah. they, they kind of say that they kind of moonlight grammed him like in the field of dreams, <laughs> where moon, moonlight never got the chance to right. hit, but he got a chance to play. Well, the next day, Josh did get a start and got his first big league hit, right. and uh, and then from then on, got some more playing time. But uh, his first experience was. Well, uh, 
Coach, I'm, I'm gonna, very excited. Yeah, well, Coach, thank you so much for uh, joining us. Uh, really great uh, story there. I'm sure a lot of people who follow the Red Wings would love to, uh, to read this book and, and hear some of the background. So thanks so much. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, and thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Of course. Have a great week.